beep, 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 beep. Coming to the end of a... Am I coming to the end? I am. One, uh, one, 121 ends at 123, and he's doing a thank you to this is DJ. Oh, well, let me stop this. Headphones off. A little gospel mix there. Yeah, and they're, they're roofing next door, they're putting a you know, roof thing up. So you're going to hear some, whatever. You know how neighbors are, you know. My sister did her roof, keeping up with the Joneses, that ADD, that kind of thing. Well, I'm not sure. You know, probably had to be done. Oh, but, oh, here we are. Hey, y'all, wasn't you supposed to send me vibes about getting lucky sticks or incense, which is known in the Western world? It did, you, not enough people gave, gave me no vibes that I forgot yesterday, so I got to go get it today. So let me spike up a lucky stick. Strike up the lucky stick. I have enough to last for this session. And you know what session I'm talking about. This is the making of, you know, behind the scenes when I do the Instagram. Usually in the morning. And it's morning right now. So there you go. Well, maybe, hey, you know what? Okay, this is funny. Well, it's funny to me. Because I explain things. I explain things all the time, right? But people don't seem to remember. My sister asked me the other day, right? Uh, you know, well, you, you don't have a lot. Of, she said something like, how many subscribers do you have? Whatever have you. And I keep on telling people, I do for Instagram something else. But I, okay, let me put, play it this way. This is a making of, it's going up on YouTube, right? I started YouTube, well, I think I had my YouTube since 2011, but I never used it until 2014 when I got the forehead and I started using it, right? And the, the thing was to record my, uh, my, it's like my audio memoir, my living memoir as it's happening day, not day by day. I think it was like three times a week back then, you know, just talking, anyway. But the idea is because I'm an archivist, that's the, you know, well, I'm a recordist, but an archivist, well, I'm, a, I'm a, okay, I'm an audio dramatist, but be, be, actually, I guess before I became an audio dramatist, I was an archivist, a recordist, I should say. Archivist, recordist, same thing, right? And, uh, was well, not the same thing, but similar cousins, you know? And so when I started YouTube, it's for archival purposes only. I recognize YouTube as a thing to, you know, to da 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 record you, whatever it is, right? So I used to, but to tell you what stuff I used to. Anyway, but the point is, uh, so so I don't look for subscribers, right? In fact, if you really look at the thing, right, the, the, I'm meandering, I see a lot of stuff, but, you know, my most important things about my YouTube is really the interviews I do when I do interviews, right? I love my interviews, right? Um, but other than that, it's just for archival, you know, hey, I'm just archiving, right? So this this, this, this is um, because of my Instagram. I didn't start Instagram until COVID started because I got stuck in New York. Then I got, I won't say I got bored, but, you know, I started Instagram, right? And so, so then Instagram sort of took over that whole memoir thing that I was trying to do, right? So... What happened? I said, but but the Instagram is sort of, you know, I, I, the archival thing is like, uh, uh, uh. and plus when I did Instagram, uh, one of the first things I did when I finally got I think much later, like not much later, but like, yeah, maybe four or five years later, I I discovered BitChute. So what I started to do is I started well, BitChute automatically takes my YouTube, which means I'm, I'm archived in two places, right? BitChute, well. Uh, uh, YouTube and and uh, bit you, right? Put that there, and uh, and because of that, well, because of that, that's because of that, right? So when somebody asks me, well, you don't have a lot of subscribers, well, I'm not monetized. <laughs> I don't ask for likes, subscribe, shares, and all. I don't ask for that. Not say I don't want it, but I don't ask for it. people do. People have free will, you know. If you find that you need to keep up with me, then you, you know. But I wouldn't try to keep, well, I keep up with me.
but I don't know about you keeping up with me. That may, let me let me put it this way. Miss Neely Fuller will tell you, uh, your 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 economy economy is your time. Your time is your got time is money time. Is money. So I don't want you to spend a whole lot of time, you know, checking out what I'm what I'm doing. Okay, it just don't make no sense. That's why we have Instagram, you know. See, so you know, so if you're catching this on Instagram, then you could be, be less shooting. But these things are longer, right? So anyway, I just had to explain that. I don't know why I had to explain that. That explain it. But you know, go look at that. I'm wearing I'm wearing this headscarf here now. This is interesting. I better all right, do something about this today. Maybe that's to be my Instagram. I'm not really sure. But anyway, uh, oh, before we get that, we got to do what I we usually do. What this is really good for, which is I got to count. Okay, count my steps. Because you know we count steps. You know there's there's miles, there's kilometers, then there's steps, right? So this this morning for my little workout, I did my, my little walkout. You know, the blue light brigade. You know who I'm talking about? Us people that walk in the blue light. You know, the, the right right before the first light, there's blue light. It's like a half hour before sunrise. There's blue light. And whatever. Don't don't worry about that. So anyway, so I did fourteen thousand six hundred forty three steps, right? What's that? One, four, eight, uh, nine, ten, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine. That's a good number. Okay, that would be uh, nine point eight one kilometers. Oh, that's another nine. That's good. One, eight, one, nine, 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 nine. Oh, that's good. Now I've got to. Oh, that did, that did. Now here's what I got to do. I have. I'm on airplane mode. That saves battery. Saves whatever. So I got to find nine. 9.81 kilometers and change that to miles. But to do that, first I got to get on the internet, which means I got to take that off, take the Bluetooth off also because I don't need that anymore. And uh, and then I should be able to go on to you know, uh, 9.81 kilometers. I should go be able to go on to what's the name here and ask for 9.81 uh, kilometers. K I L kilometers. M kilo April how? No, 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 What's that? M E T E R kilometers. Kilometers kilometers to miles. Okay, there it is. So I work six point zero nine six miles. Oh, there's a six six is uh, six six is twelve. This, Nine is oh, that's that'd be uh, twenty-one. Well, that's good. It's number one of my numbers. So I got three is a nine. That's good. I do this couple. Don't worry. Don't worry. What I'm mumbling. That's I'm mumbling to myself. When I mumble, I'm talking to myself. Okay. Actually, when you talk, <laughs> sometimes when you're talking to you know to the to the YouTube or to the Instagram, you're actually talking to yourself. Okay. So now I'm ready. Uh, I guess I'm ready. Everything ready? Oh, well, before I do that. I did a, I did a, 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 with the magic bullet thingy, I did a thing. I had, what is this? This is, ah, uh, man. Ah, uh, it's grape seeded grapes, uh, the red grapes. Um, uh, I did a uh, cucumber, and usually I take the skin off the cucumber, but when I'm blending it, I just do the whole thing. Figs, which, since I'm, I'm going to get some, some new, new, more incense, but I'm going to go. I'm going to have these cheetahs. They got to find. I hope they still have this wine that I had before. They probably sold out, but it's like really good. I'm going to get that, but I'm going to get cucumber and I'm going to get some more uh, uh, figs. That's what I put in there. Figs. I love me some figs. It's kind of thick. Oh, I put aloe juice in here. Finally, I keep, I have it, but I keep on forgetting to do it. So this is thick. Woo, boy, it's thick. Woo. <laughs> Oh, and I put that, there's some, mm, went to the health food store, oh boy, it's in um, Virginia Beach, I mean like a real health food store, you know, uh, Heritage, whatever it is, my sister one, has got this some powder called Fat Burner, I don't care, but I put that in there, and I got turmeric, and oh, I put ginger, ginger powder in there, why? I don't know, because I had it. What else did I have? Oh, apple. Not the whole apple. Half an apple. What else? I forget. 
Oh, I didn't put any sweetener in there. Usually I put some honey, but I didn't. Oh well, it's all right. Mm. So I'm actually drinking. I'm eating my. I'm eating my. I'm drinking my liquefied fruit, which means that I'm taking my water in because the fruit goes to your cells. The fruit water or the fruit goes to your cells, and your water. That's your water. That whole other water that you drink. Oh, it's what that you drink goes through you real quick. Mm. It's not bad. I'm sort of glad. Sort of glad I didn't. Um, sort of glad I didn't. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, put sugar. Oh, not sugar. Honey in it. But it would have been all right. You know. Everybody. You know. Sometimes the people think that I. Well, I guess I do have a sweet tooth. I mean, I like. Oh, I like dark chocolate. This is another thing I got from Heritage. I got dark chocolate. Uh, got raisins covered by dark chocolate. I was munching on that last night. Oh well. Oh, I didn't do my. I didn't do my yaki. I'm on yaki protocol. I got the three bitters, right? I did it for the last two weeks. Then this, you know, I, I do it like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? This week. I'm not. I didn't do it. I'm not going to do it this week. I'm skipping and doing it next week. It's a whole thing because I'm. 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 I'm, I'm getting to uh, St. Louis in the beginning of December. Yeah, next month. And so. Anyway, I, 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 somehow I, I I calculated this. And I would do it that way. I don't know why I did it that way. So so next week I'll go back and do the, the bitters. You know the bitters again. That's fine with me. I don't care. You know, I'm not that. I'm like you know. But that's what it is. Mm. Okay, let's let's get it let's get it done. We wasted enough time. Oh, who's this? Our answers come to life. I don't know what that is. What was that? Our answers. What's this? Hebrews to Negroes. Wake up, Black America. This is Instagram. I want to see what that, that that. Oh, here it is. Our answers come to life. Louise Norton Little of Grenada. Oh. Malcolm Little's uh, mama. See? It's a beautiful woman. Really good. They must have had some, uh, they must have had some, uh, I don't know, archive of her. Who is this? Unknown ancestors of Martinique photograph. Oh, they take photographs and then they do this. This is another a cat, I don't know, from Martinique. You know, Martinique, they, they had that woman, I forgot her name, the filmmaker that did uh, Sugar Cane Alley, right? She was the first black woman, I want to say, that Hollywood gave a big budget to because she did a dry white season or something like that, Marlon Brando. And, uh, but Sugar Cane Alley, if you watch that, that's the story of me and my grandmother, even though we were in the Bronx, she did, she did I can't explain. Anyway, okay, so I'm almost ready. Oh, here's another one. Oh, this is uh, Malcolm X's daughter's posting these things. Yeah, I'm, I'm so subscribed to her, I guess. Oh, it's another cat. Oh, no, that's Martinique. Oh, he's traditional Creole. I'm Creole. Oh, I'm Creole. Well, who, the, the black Americans who've been through the, they, 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 we're all, you know, we're all, I don't want to say not much, not, it's, it's, it's derogatory, right? We're all amalgamations of a bunch of things, you know? So that's what it is. Okay, let me get to, let me get to the point. I've been messing around a lot. I mean, too much. There we go. Oh, hi. Hey, Instagram. It's me, T. From the Paddis is taking the train to the bed. What the heck? You see, I'm wearing this, you know, I'm wearing this headscarf here. This is a new one I got when I, when my sister, she went to the, to the hair store or something. I don't know, whatever. You know, you know how black women are. It was like whatever. Whatever, and so I was looking for some some. I was looking for a green bandana to go with a, a, a green hoodie that I have, right? And so, but I, I buy things in threes, you know what I mean? So they had the green bandana, then I got a black, a pure just black, right? And then they had they didn't have no other colors. Then they had this thing here. I don't particularly like the the camouflage thing with people with with cameo pants and camouflage. I'm not into it, you know what I mean? Don't give me, I'm military. Well, I, say it's not, I shouldn't say it like that. I served, I, I did my time. <laughs> 1970, 74, it was enough for me, right? Anyway, 
But I'm not into that, right? And then, then when I think about it, let me, let, let, let me take you on a little path, right? This is interesting because, okay, uh, when police violence really started to happen, you know, the Elmer Bumpers thing back in the day and all the rest of that stuff, then people were saying like, oh, these, these, these young cops, they're recruited from the suburbs, you know, from Long Island or wherever they're recruited from, right? And they've been watching Starsky and Hutch, it's a TV program that came on about that time, right? And so they, they started acting like Starsky and Hutch, you know? You know, the one with, 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 uh, with Huggy Bear on there, you know, Antonio Fargus, who played in one of my favorite, one of his early roles in my favorite films, which was Putney Swope. Hey, once again, shot Ka Samuel L. Jackson. Yo, man, I know you busy. I know you blah, blah, blah. I know you want to make a lot of money, but let's do a very low budget remake of Putney Swope with you as Putney Swope. It would be hilarious. I mean, I'm telling you, come on now. Who, who, who in this audience got some juice, man? Somebody get the word to Sam. Sam, you can talk to Robert Downey Jr. because Robert Downey Jr.'s father, Robert Downey Sr., a prince, did put, produce Putney Swope, the book, directed whatever Putney Swope back in, you know, I guess it came out in 1969. Well, we filmed it. Yeah, we filmed it in 60, 68. I would say we because I was there. Don't worry about that part. The point is, right, Putney Swope needs to be done right now. And Samuel got the hookup because he know, you know, Baby Downey and Baby Downey's daddy dudes, they can get the rights that they do. Come on now, let's get it done. Okay, back to the point. So what I'm looking at, I said, okay, but what's happening today with all these, 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 because, you know, it had this whole thing, defund the police. Stupid. Y'all are idiots. This is the problem. People just come up with any saying, blah, 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 blah. You don't want to defund the, the police. You want to demilitarize the police. You want to, let me repeat this slowly. You do not want to defund the police. You want to demilitarize the police. You know, all that military equipment that, that Barack Obama, you know, and whatever people gave to the, gave, gave, gave to the police departments because they were doing all these, these actions overseas and whatever. I guess maybe Baby Bush started. I don't know who started. But the point is, they gave all that military equipment to police forces. You know, so, so you're some little town running down, down the middle of the town. There's a big old tank down the middle of the town. Come on now. So you want to demilitarize the police. Let me repeat. I got to repeat this as many times as possible. You want to demilitarize the police. Why? Because they're all watching. They're all watching their little, their, their little games and they're all watching TV. And every time, you know, so every TV thing, first thing they do, they, do, they, they have to SWAT or SWAT. SWAT is supposed to be a very elite special unit, right? But they use it for everything. You know what I mean? The police don't want to work no more. They say, hey, let's call SWAT. And those guys, you know, they're all military trained. <laughs> they pull out their guns. <laughs> they go, boom. Talk about Samuel Jackson. You know, you see the negotiator? I like negotiator. I really like negotiator. Samuel, you was really good in negotiator. And what they, their first inclination, just like in what my, another one of my favorite movies, uh, uh, Die Hard, you know what I mean? SWAT comes in. <laughs> they got the playbook. You know, the FBI got the playbook. Everybody got the playbook. You know what I mean? And they all, the playbook says, draw your gun. Bust down the door, start shooting. Mm. They're militarized. They've been watching, they get military equipment, they've been watching all these, these every movie, every TV show's first thing, they draw the gun, you know? And da, 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 da. So, ah, man, let me take this thing off, man. <laughs> get to the hood, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't help it. Anyway. So that's it. That's all I want to say. It's like it's, it's, it's to me. It's terrible that uh, well, the society we're we're ruled by images that we see, you know, uh, and then we try to pop, we popularize those images, those negative images, and then we don't even call things correctly. You know, what I mean, we don't you, we don't have any people don't have any time to really think these old before they put something out anymore. You see what I'm saying? So they just put stuff out. That's all they do. Just put stuff out. And then if it's catchy, it hits, you know? So, demilitarize the police. That's a catchy phrase. Okay, I'm, I'm through. I have said it enough times. I'll check you all later. You know, be good. You know, better be good because the military is going to come and get you. See you all later. Okay. So, that's done. Drink some more stuff. Hmm. Kind of water. Maybe I just put the same thing in. Mm. Share. What am I going to call this? I don't one off. I don't really know what I was talking about anymore. Um. Um. 
What am I going to call this? I just call it Demilitarize the Police. Oh, the, okay, the brother. The brother speaks. Uh, speaks about. Uh, about. Let me just say popular tropes. Theme. Popular tropes. I like tropes. About popular misguided. M R mis. Guided, G U I, guided. Tropes, T R O P E S, T T R O P E S. Is this this one? Misguided. Oh, man. Misguided themes, misguided what? I say tropes, T H T H R O. P E S tropes tropes R O W tropes I spell tropes dang man man let me just go into the dictionary and see if they they got it there tropes I mean uh hey be patient I'll be with you in a second man this is important well everything's important I guess to me, T R O. That's Y R. T R O P E S. Tropes definition. Tropes none. A figurative or metaphorical use of the word, the word or expression. Third person prints tropes. Examples of tropes. Please stop and smell the roses. Oh, here you go. Trope. T R O P E S. Okay, so I'll say trope. If I come back to the thing, let's see if they'll let me in. Yes. T R R T R O P E S. Tropes. Why did I have it underlined it that they don't know what it means? T R O. Oh, T R O. Sorry. Okay, now we've now Western Branch, add to series. This would be, uh, let's do in the morning. Why? Why not? Done. And then we'll let it share. Boom. Man. Malcolm's mama was fine. Woo! Kind of woman. There you go. Okay, that's it. Ah, we're done. Ah, gotta go, gotta go. Got stuff to do, you know? I'm gonna. Hmm. I got stuff to do today. Oh, that's like I do all that stuff and try to get try to get that wine. I'm telling you, it's called uh, the Warden by by you know the, the Twelve Crimes people, the Australian wine. I gotta get it now. I'm, I'm as we say, I'm listening for it. I'm lusting for it. I'm listening for this wine. Hey, does that make me a wino? Wow, I'll tell you a wino story some other time. All right, talk to you later. Bye.